And what's good, people? It's your boy Billy Matt back for another mycology. This was gonna be kind of shorter because I gotta go pick up my daughter. Um, so let me say this: Will Smith, Chris Rock. First of all, first of all, shout out to both men. Chris Rock took it like a G. I don't care what y'all niggas say. Chris Rock took it like a G. And I, and I thank you. Thank, I thank him for playing it off the way he did. What happened behind, behind backstage, behind the scene, I don't care. Okay? I don't care. But I thank Chris Rock for what he did, for how he behaved himself. I thank Will Smith because it seems like niggas out here don't give a damn about they woman. It just seems like it. So that's that old, that for all y'all young folk, that's old school. What Will Smith did is officially old school. Niggas ain't doing that no more. In fact, niggas will probably just shoot you. They'll either let, let it go or they'll just shoot you. One of the two. But here, here, that, you know what? Let, let me go ahead and put it out there. Because I hear the black women in, in my ear. I hear the black women in my ear. Will Smith was right for defending Jada Pinkett. I no problem. No problem with that. Will Smith was right for the de- defending Jada Pinkett. <sighs> but 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 unfortunately, this is my opinion. I hope I am wrong. God knows I hope I am wrong about this. But I feel like what Will Smith did I don't want to use that phrase. You have now I feel like what Will Smith did has now reassured the racist white people out there that we are who they say we are. We're Neanderthals. We have no home training. Because there's a whole bunch of white people right now. And they are the majority. Let, let, let's, let's get that out the way. The white people who think what Will Smith did was the most, was one of the scariest things they, that they've ever seen on television. Those white people outnumber us. Let's just, let's just be real. They outnumber us. And this is not, this is me not condemning Will Smith. This is not a, this is not condemnation on Will Smith. This is let's get our minds ready for the consequences of Will Smith's decision. That's all I'm, that's all I want to do. I'm not saying whether Will Smith was right or wrong. I'm not saying Will Smith shouldn't have done it. I'm not saying it looks bad on black folks. I'm not saying that. What I want to do today, I want everybody to get their mind right for the consequences that are to ensue. Okay? First, it was Kanye West. Kanye West said George Bush don't care about black folks. And white people were just like, oh, we don't need niggers up on stage with a mic anymore. You notice, notice what they do now. When, when, when the presenters, when the presenters give out the nominees or whatever, notice how they back away from the mic. <laughs> notice how they, or, or the mic, they move the mic stand some type of way. They don't want 
any of that to happen again. There's been a president sent. Uh, there, there has been a president sent for this type of behavior. For, it's been a president set for this type of behavior. When Kanye was talking about Beyonce had the best music video, Kanye has essentially changed the way. That's why, why do you think they start playing music? <coughs> Why do you think they start playing music now if you've been up there too long? Because we, because we going to say what we got to say. Oh, I'm going to say, y'all, y'all turn that music down. I got something to say. That's us, black folks. And, and I think the part that pisses me off, I understand, listen, if you want to, if, if you want to be black, Okay. That was a bad, that was a bad wording of the phrase. Hold on. If you're unapologetic for your blackness, okay, which I think most of us are, when you're unapologetic for your blackness, that's fine. Just understand there are consequences to your actions. I don't, and I don't understand. Now, I get it. 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 Why, why white people have zero consequences to how they behave? You're exactly right. And that's why that's, that's the racist part about it. But guess what? Black folks, that ain't changing no time soon. It ain't going to happen overnight. National Geographic, National Geographic put out a study of the future of the, of human beings. They literally said, this is what they said by the year 2050, 30 years from now, by the year 2050, the average person is going to look mixed. That is beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, that's beautiful. The average person is going to look mixed. In other words, they're going to look black. The average person will look black. Praise Jesus. All right. There are consequences to this. You're now going to have more segregated areas. Gentrification will be unstoppable. If, and it's going to get to a, it's going to be like Hunger Games. You're going to have an area where the affluent live. Then you're going to go, then it's only going to go down from there. The affluent to the kind of affluent to the not so affluent to the we 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 got it made to the we we not we we doing we doing okay to the we barely holding on to the. We pull as hell over here. That's how it's going to be because everybody's going to look black. The white folks, the white folks have to maintain the narrative. We cannot be in their club and there's nothing. And the only way you will be able to be in their club is if you have the money for it. Now, Before I scare some more people, that's just a theory. That's my theory. That's what I believe is going to happen. And that was a sidebar. Back to the original point of this this thing that I'm doing. So, we must now understand what the consequences of what Will Smith's decision are. There are a whole bunch of white folks who are scared now that somebody is going to come on stage and slap them. Mind you, stage is a metaphor for wherever they are in their lives. Whether it's the bus, the grocery store, school, job, church, 
these are the consequences of Will Smith's actions. He has now put more fear or maybe even a little bit of fear in some white people's mindset. And if you have white friends, to me it's like this. If you have white friends and they're questioning, well, why why would Will Smith do that? Well, why, why? Will Smith's a nice guy. Why would he do that? Black folks, we have to understand to let these white folks know that Will Smith's marriage is a whole lot more important than his friendship to Chris Rock. Here's the other part about that. Let's not forget, was it last year or two years ago? Will Smith's manhood was on the line. Will Smith was practically looking like a pussy to some of us black folks. And to sit here and act like he ain't he ain't heard that noise. Now, also, well, yeah, to sit here and act like he ain't heard that noise, y'all really thought he was just going to... The man got to let y'all know that he's still Mike Lowry, <laughs> if you will. But here's the other part about that. Um... There is, there is, in a sense, a code. There is a code amongst, it should be amongst people in general, but definitely with comedians. Yeah, I thought I was going to a race again. You have to get your jokes, I guess, approved before you can throw them out there. For those of y'all that don't know, before some of these celebrities, if you ever watch Wildin' Out and you know certain celebrities have been on there and you wonder why they don't bring up certain stuff, there, there's a contract. There's, there's a contract. Hey, if I come on this show, y'all can't say this. Hey, if I come on this show, we can't talk about this. And obviously, if that list gets too big, guess what Nick Cannon says? I don't think we could use you. It's a comedy show. You know what I mean? Like you have to be willing to accept whatever is said about you. That's why, that's why the whole, um, and we, we ain't heard from her since. Oh, uh, what was that R and B singer? At was, was it Ashley Banks? It, oh, I can't, I can't remember her name. Uh, if, let's just look it up. Let's just look it up. Celebrity cries from wilding out. Azalea Banks. I say Ashley Banks. Azalea Banks. Notice we ain't heard from her since. Because everybody was like, why the f did you go on that show? If your feelings were going to get hurt. It's a, it's a TV show. It's a comedy TV show where the whole premise is to make fun of everybody. Now, and Nick Cannon has said in several interviews, like, yes, people come on shows and say, people come on the show and be like, yeah, we can't talk about this, can't talk about that. Some of that stuff uh, is obvious. Like, I, it, it, like I'm not sure, but... I think Chris Brown was on the show and I don't ever remember them talking about him beating up Rihanna. It's just like, it's a touch. It's a touchy subject. Can't take, can't talk about that. It just, it is what it is. Talk about everything else. We can't talk about that. Might be a legal situation. His lawyer is like, we can't talk about that. You know, <laughs> you know, it just, it's stuff like that. That's real world stuff. So, to me, what, what I guess my issue is Chris Rock should have went to Will Smith and was like, yo, you mind if I talk about Jada? Now, from, from what I read, from what I read, the joke, because I didn't see it happen. The joke was about 
um, Jada's hair. And you listen, Jada and her hair. I can't believe that's a touchy subject. She been she ain't had hair since woo. Y'all remember woo? Like I didn't know that was an issue. That like like and I'm not saying it shouldn't be, but I think all of us have always said like w- at least when Jada when Jada first came out with the short haircut, we all was like okay. We approve. Like we was like, cause I, cause we all remember Jada Pinkett from in, from different world, and she had a whole head of hair. So when she first came out with that short haircut, we was all like, "That's different," but we like it. You know what I mean? So to know that she's sensitive about that. It goes to show y'all, man. First of all, you don't know what people deal with. You cannot assume. We we make assumptions. We all sit here and say, Kanye West ain't been the same since his mama died. For all we know, for all we know, Kanye West couldn't stand his mama. And he stayed, he stayed chill because he didn't want to hear her mouth. When she went, when she died, that nigga was like, yes, I can finally be myself now. We don't know. (laughs) We do not know. I'm not speculating. I'm just giving you an example. We don't know what these people are going through, y'all. Jada Pinkett has had that hair, that haircut, that hairstyle for as long as I can remember and to know and to see that it bothers her because I'm like I said, like I said, I'm not justifying what Will did, but I'm not saying he shouldn't have did it. That man loves his wife. And if that's the way, if he loves her that much, because I don't know about y'all. This and this is for the married. I'm talking to the married folk. We have, as a husband, there is something that our wife has complained to us about, vented to us about, and has and we have sworn to secrecy that we would not talk about it, and we don't. And as soon as somebody does. We don't, we are like, shut up. Don't talk about it. Don't do it. Don't, don't shut it. Shut it. We don't want you to bring it up because then what's going to happen, what's going to happen is when we get to a private area, I can't believe such and such talked about me like that. And why didn't you stand up for me? We don't want to have that conversation. As men, we do not want to have that conversation. Because in the back of my minds, it's we can't control what somebody else says. But that's why she is. That's why a woman ends with. And why didn't you stand up for me? Like I said, I'm not condemning Will. I'm not justifying what he did. Just know what the consequences of his actions are. There's a lot of people talking about how Chris Rock is is a punk now. No. No. Do y'all not realize Chris Rock's career could have ended a certain way if he had retaliated? Do do y'all realize that? See, see, here's what y'all millennials don't understand. People have been getting canceled for a very long time. People been getting canceled for a very long time. We just didn't call it that. But people have been getting canceled for a very long time. 
I advise you all look up Sinead O'Connor. Look up Sinead O'Connor. Look up Bjork and look up um oh look up Bono. Look up um who's who's somebody else that people don't want nothing to do with. Um to an extent, of course. Dang, I had him in my head. I feel like it was it was some type of rock legend. And people were like, no, we do not know him anymore. <laughs> oh, I can't think of who it is. But Bono, Bjork, and Sinead O'Connor. For all my millennial people out there, look them up. You probably hadn't heard of them because they've been canceled before. Well, Bono, Bono reemerged himself. He was able to defeat what he was going through. And I think it was just a specific country that he had an issue with. But Bjork and Sinead O'Connor, they are like banned. Okay. <laughs> they have been banned from places. They can't go. When you can't go somewhere, You've been canceled. People have been canceling people for a very long time. Chris Rock could have ended his career if he had retaliated a certain way. So big ups to Chris Rock for keeping his cool, keeping it calm, remaining calm. Because, yeah, it could have ended real badly. Now, as far as Will Smith, because he was the aggressor, a lot of people are going to be a more... Because he was the aggressor and because he has legitimacy for being upset, a lot of people are going to be a more, little more lenient with him. It was like, well, he talked about that man's wife. I, I would have did the same thing. You're going to get a lot of that. You're going to get a lot of empathy out of people. But I feel like, um, like I said, not condemning him, not judging him, not justifying his situation. Just be ready for the consequences. Just be ready for the consequences, people. They're going to now, now all of a sudden, they're going to have security. All because of what Will Smith did, you might start seeing security um, on the steps of the Oscars, the Grammys, and all. You know, this is it's award show season. So you're going to start seeing a lot more, a lot of different stuff. Get your mind right. White people are going to be scared. And, and, and this is my final point. I've been ranting. I've been ranting about other crap this whole video. And I'm pissed off because I'm not going to be able to retake this. Because <laughs> I have to go get my daughter. And when I go pick her up, I'm not going to have any more free time. Uh, but here's my initial point to this. We, I, I feel like we were finally in a place as black people to start changing the narrative of black folks. And when you have Will Smith, who a lot of white people love and, and, and adore, to do something that like that, to allow his blackness to show face on national television like that, Part of me does feel, part of me does feel that um, I wish he had to just waited and got backstage with him. I, part of me does wish because that show, that show of, how can I put it? That, that image the video like you look at like for all my football people you look at Ray Rice it wasn't that bad and then the video came out you know what I mean it wasn't that bad and then the video came out and it was like damn he whooped her ass <laughs> you know what I mean and I know, and I think if I remember, they're happily married right now. It was a one-time situation. You know what I mean? 
This is the perfect example of out of sight, out of mind. The perfect example of out of sight, out of mind. I wish Will hadn't have did it from a cultural standpoint. But at the same time, I'm not going to keep the man from doing what he feels he has to do as a man. And until next time, it's your boy, Billy Mac, and I'll holler at you. Peace.